hello, thanks for watching my video. So, uh, this is another episode of Towny Tales, and this is our second character, Barbara Wellman. She's a single, middle-aged woman. Just to give you a bit of background on her, she's interested in baking, she's also quite mean and hot-headed. She loves the library, she likes going there so she can shout at people for talking. She also likes to go to the park to make sure that there aren't any teenagers hanging around there. Her favourite thing, though, is writing letters of complaint, but she, she will do an email if necessary, but she doesn't like to write in complete sentences if she's having to use email. And this is the love of her life, her poodle Lawrence. He's everything to her. So, yeah, she's just moved in. She lives in Brindleton Bay. Uh, she's got a few friends. She's got a little baking club going on, so I'm sure we'll probably meet them at some point. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look, see what this is all about. Uh, this is her home, by the way. She's uh, a bit of a hoarder. And the uh, the urns, I don't really know whether where they came from. They were here when we moved in, so I'm just going to pretend maybe one of them's her ex-husband or something. <laughs> I don't know. But she found these urns and decided to keep them living on the fireplace. But anyway, it's 8.30 in the morning. Lawrence needs a walk, so let's take him to the park. First things first. Go to the nice little dog park over here. Yeah, looks good to me. There we go. We'll let Lawrence have a little play. Oh, there's a guy playing chess over here. Let's go join him. Um, excuse me. You two are standing far too close to each other. That's too much public display of affection. Go and have a go, Barbara. Go on. Tell him off. That's it. Give him a piece of your mind. Yeah. Don't need to be making such a show in the middle of a family park. Get a room. Everyone's leaving the park. <laughs> to be fair, I'd probably leave the park if fucking, fucking Barbara was there. Um, excuse me, why are you at the dog park when you don't have a dog? Go on, Barbara, have a go. If you don't have a dog, you shouldn't be at the dog park. You'll ruin it for everyone else. I don't really have much of a plan with this character. Just go around acting like a total dickhead to people. I think we should also have a go at this girl. That dress is far too revealing to be in a public place. Yeah, go and shove her. That skirt is way too short. When you bend over, I can see your lunch. Yeah, put some proper clothes on. <gasps> Did she just throw... Oh, you little bitch. Yeah, we'll mock her outfit. Walking around dressed like that, having all your skin on show. Absolute disgrace. Right, that's it. Come on, Lawrence. We're going home. We've had enough of this. Oh, Lawrence is already... <laughs> Lawrence has already fucked off. I don't even know where the dog's gone. He's taken himself for a walk. Oh dear. Well, I think we've made our point. Okay, back home. What to do? What to do? Well, it's Thursday. Barbara doesn't really have a job, so just do what she usually does during the day. Troll the forums. Let's just go and leave a few nasty comments. That's what we'll do. Yeah, let's go troll the forums. Yeah. I don't think Barbara sees it as just being a troll, though. I think she thinks it's just giving some constructive criticism. Stop making inappropriate Sims videos on YouTube. <laughs> You're going to be 30 in a few years. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> oh, she is loving it. Look at that. She's loving every minute of it. <laughs> you finished trolling? You finished trolling the forums? Yeah, bored of that now? All right, fair enough. Well, then perhaps we should do something a bit more um, social. So Barbara is part of this group, the Baking Bunch. So she's got three friends, Linda, although actually we proper fucking hate Linda. Um, June, she's all right, and Sandra. And we just get together, do a bit of baking, and we're also a little bit mean to each other. We gossip a lot. We make some snidey comments. So what I might do, I might get um, Barbara to just bake a couple of bits, like some sugar cookies, lay them out on the table, and then invite the ladies round. So we usually take it in turns for the ladies to come over so that the other ladies can come over, taste our baking, and then criticise it. Um, it's basically a big crit criticising ring. Fudge bars, yeah, very nice. That's what we'll do. Bit of baking, can't go wrong. 
she's got the max baking skill as well because I figure you've got to give someone something. You know, everyone's got something about them. So hers is baking. Baking and bitching. Those are her main skills. Are those brownies done? Yep, perfect. Right, well, let's invite the girls around then. We like to still call them the girls, even though we're middle-aged women. We, we call each other the girls, so it's more fun, you know. Why have you turned up with a bag on your head? Who's this? Oh, it's June. Go and say hello to June. Hey, June, how's it going? So did you hear about Linda's husband having an affair? Yeah. Can't blame him, really. Where are the other girls, June? Who's this over here? Oh, Sandra. Hey, Sandra, how's it going? Having a whale of a time. Talk about the baking bunch. Bitch about the baking bunch, more like. Hey, Sandra. Linda not turned up. Didn't want to get out of bed again, did she? Ah. Oh, bless her. Let's all sit together and have a little chat. Have a little chat. So that Linda, she's too fucking big for her tits. Oh, hang on, there's three of them. Oh, shit, that's Linda right there. Just kidding, Linda. Let's go talk to Linda about the baking bunch, even though we think she's a fucking knobhead. I mean, it would be nice if you could all take those fucking bags off your head. <laughs> I actually made these characters. I feel a bit duped. There was no fucking point. Because <laughs> they've all turned up with bags on their heads anyway. Eco lifestyle, who needs it? I wish I could understand Simlish, so I'd know what they're actually saying. So then I said, that's too much public affection in the park. You probably can work it out, to be honest. The amount of, like, artists that have sang in Simlish, you could probably, I'm sure someone on Google has made some translation. You could probably figure it out, I would have thought. We're all just being really mean to each other. <laughs> I mean, I did put one of the activities was to, to be mean. Argue about kindness, yeah. Just argue about everything. Argue about outlook on life. Oh, she's giving us some proper lit back. Yell at her. Put her in her place. Go on, Barbara. Oh, start preposterous rumour. That is so Barbara. Oh, she's pretty furious right now. Maybe Linda deserves a slap. I don't think that's an overreaction. Yeah, shove. Give her a little shove. I think she deserves it. Come into my house, eat my brownies, and then have the nerve to raise your voice at me. Pick on Sandra's weight. <laughs> oh dear. Funny. Right, that's enough of that. I'm sick of your shit, Linda. Do you know what? We're, we're ending, end gathering, end gathering. You can all fucking go home. Come on, ladies, get out of here. Funny thing is, they'll all be best mates tomorrow. They'll stop talking for a week and then something scandalous will happen with one of the other neighbours and they won't be able to resist. Why are all these cats turning... Oh, right, this house is like a cat hangout. <laughs> so we've got lots of strays. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, okay, fine. Stay as long as you like. Till you get yourselves back on your feet, you can, you can stay here. Just don't sit on the cake. Oh shit, Barbara, it's almost 10pm. It's way past bedtime. Finish up and go to bed, girl. Get some rest. That's why you were cranky. Go on, Betty buys. Night night. Has she got a black eye? Oh, Barbara. Unbelievable. Right, that's it. That's it. Linda's getting murked tomorrow. Like it or not, we're going over there. She thinks she is. But right now, let's get some sleep. Oh, here we are, awake, on night on the town day. I've got some big fucking plans for today. Linda is not going to know what hit her. Right, let's bake some goods. Now, what, what's going to convince Linda to invite us in? May, maybe if we bring her some, some brownies. Make some brownies. That'll get us in the house. Pop round Linda's, offer it to her as an apology gift. Yeah. Yeah, she'll fall for it. We just got a message from Linda. I just did a workout. Are you staying in, tape, in shape too? Oh, you fucking... Yeah, she's going to love this. You look lovely, Barbara, in your summer wear. She's in a fearless mood today, which is good. She's going to need to be. That's it. Pop the brownies down, look. 
stick them in our inventory yeah yeah and then we're gonna go for a little walk next door down to Linda's house she'll be thrilled to see us I'm sure we won't take the dog I don't want the dog to see this is that Sandra oh hi Sandra nothing to see here Let's just knock on the door see if Linda's home oh there she is at her desk look probably trolling the forums hey Linda hope you're okay We've got a little gift for you let's give her a gift friendly gift of the brownies that's right Linda don't worry no harm no harm come to make amends there we go see we're all right friends again yeah let's be friends off you go Sandra don't need you in here anyway Linda I really appreciate you letting us back in in your house and I know we didn't leave things off at the best anyway I won't stay long I just wanted to let you know that I'm sick of your shit, Linda, all right? I've been putting up with it for way too long, every fucking day. Every fucking day, Linda. You could shove this one up your live, laugh, love ass. Yeah. Bye-bye, Linda. And Sandra, you can shut the fuck up. You say anything, you'll be next. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Linda anymore. Let's go home. Even Death has got a fucking bag on his head. Oh dear. Right, let's go home. Get out of here. Get out of here, Barbara. Don't stick around. Get, get out of it. We take this to the grave, Sandra. I know she pissed you off as well. Hi, Barbara. I'm calling to let you know that Linda Lisbeth has passed away. I thought you might want to know. Yeah, I had a sneaky suspicion. Oh, fuck it. How cheeky would it be? Let's take Linda's urn. Haha. <laughs> we'll put it on the uh, fireplace where we keep our urns. Just make our way home. Well, I suppose the only thing to do now is just figure out how we go about recruiting the newest member of the baking club. But that's a problem for tomorrow. Home sweet home. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. So I will. Oh, hang on. Just pop Linda's ashes on the fireplace. Oh, not really any room in the fireplace. We'll stick it in here somewhere. Tell you what, we'll stick it on the, the, the dining table. Yeah, that's what she would have wanted. That was her favourite place to come and gossip. Anyway... Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.